<laughs> hey guys and girls, I tell you what, it is cold, it is nasty out here, but the fish should be biting. I'm thinking maybe as a matter of fact, that maybe some of the bigger crappie might be moving in and Chris has sent me on a mission. She sent me on a mission to go catch her. She said like eight or 10 crappie. She said, if I will catch them, I'll clean them, she'll cook them. That's a really great catch, clean and cook, I believe. So I'm gonna head on down here to the dock and see if I can't, see if I can't catch a few. I need to catch eight or 10. Depends on the size. We've been catching some small ones, but this water's cooled down. I haven't been down here in, uh, eh, I haven't been down here. I guess I, I caught a few off the dock maybe last Monday and Tuesday, so it's been almost a week. And, uh, and I caught one or two pretty nice ones in, but most of them were still small. I'd really just as soon catch relatively small ones. You have to clean two or three more that way, but. You have to clean two or three more that way. One of the things you want to do with a marabou bait and I've got a uh, I got a marabou stump jumper on there one of the things you want to do with the marabou bait you put it down in the water shake it around real hard just like that right there see what I'm doing right there shaking that thing real hard around like that you got to get that marabou real wet because a marabou is just like almost like a duck's back you know it sheds water all right all right all right all right God, it's nice this is a perfect time of the evening. They ought to be biting. I need to catch about six or eight. Get my Bubba knife. Get my Bubba knife and feed, lay them out. And maybe, maybe like tomorrow night, I might be able to eat some crappie. Thought I had a bite there, but I think it's just grass. Could have been a bluegill too. Bluegills eat these things up. And we got like a thousand bluegill live around here. <laughs> First cast, sports fans. That one's a little small right there. I was kind of hoping. Now that's actually a big enough crappie to keep. That's not a bad crappie right there, but I think that, I don't know, Jimmy, what do you think? Think about it for a minute, Jimmy. What do y'all think? What do you think, guys and girls? It's a 10 inch crappie. Yeah, it's a 10 inch crappie. First cast. Hey, gotta throw the first one back, right? They can get really tight sometimes this time of the year, or they can be spread out. They can be real tight, so you kind of have to hit in one little spot in order to catch them, or they can be kind of spread out. They should be sort of spread out, actually. Yep, that's two. Barbless hooks, you get to count them. Oh, you don't get to eat them, though. <laughs> That's two, that's two. Two out of three casts, that's pretty good when you get right down to it. I got another bite and missed him and he come back and hit it again. I got him that time. This one's not a bass, so he's gonna get to keep this one. Boy, he was pulling hard. He's really not quite as big as that one I turned back, is he? Now, why were you pulling so hard, guy? Hey, don't tell Chris that I'm throwing these back, okay? Because she would get really upset. What do you think, guys? Let's keep him. Let's keep that one. Yeah, let's keep that one. I might ought to move my basket. I don't have to walk all, all the way over here to it every time. I might ought to move my basket. Got my basket tied on here. All right. You get down in there, guy. I'm going to move my basket over to the other side. Oh, I got a pretty hard knot tied in that. I don't want my basket running off. Ah, that's a, that's got the, that crappie is actually smaller than the one. Smaller than the one that I threw back. That wasn't very smart, was it, Jimmy? Let's take our basket over there, Beamer. What do you say? Look at there, Beamer. Beamer, looky there, girl. Looky there, Beamer, huh? Looky there, looky at Beamer. Look how excited Beamer gets. Look at Beamer. Get. Beamer says, I want it. Beamer likes crappie fillets. You want some crappie, huh? You get that crappie? Get that crappie, girl, huh? Huh? Get it, Beamer, get it, Beamer, get it, Beamer. <laughs> so get it out of there, boss. Get it out of there, boss. Beamer's, 
Beamer's wanting that crappie to be be filleted is what Beamer's wanting. All right, out of the way here. That's pretty good, you know. I, I, oh, I just about lost my rod. Kind of a cold day to go swimming, but hey, I'd do it if I have to. Tie a slip knot in there. Perfect. <laughs> hey, I threw out that way to get that one. Okay, that's one. It's actually three, but only one to eat. I need ten. I need ten. See if we can catch ten. Whoop, here we go again. Oh, he got off. Hey, it's close enough to see. Barbless hook rule. The barbless hook rule, we fish barbless hooks all the time. So when we're fishing barbless hooks, what we do is we count. If you get a fish and get it up to the boat or up to the dock, and it gets off right at the boat, that's a, uh, that counts as a catch. Now oh, they must be stacked out there. There must be a jillion of them out there. This is not gonna take long. This is not gonna take long. God, it's just right on the borderline of being too small. Huh. Huh. Probably shouldn't be doing that because that whole school is probably gonna be that same size. But there ought to be some bigger ones in there. Well, they're not very deep at all. I mean, they're just not very deep. It's colder weather. It's colder weather. They're coming up. Look at that crappie sports fans. That's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the other deal. They can be too big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they can be too big. <laughs> Holy cow. We catch them that size, that's a two pound crappie. And I tell you, that's a huge crappie. That's a two pound crappie right there. Uh, nah, probably a pound 12, probably a pound 12. We just don't keep them that big. So, little crappie sugar. Beamer says, you're crazy boss. You're crazy, what are you doing? Boss, you've caught five fish, you have one in your basket. How can we get crappie fillets that way? How can we get crappie fillets, Beamer? Those fish are not very deep out there. They're probably down a little bit deeper. They're probably, that rodent are coming over the top of them. They're probably coming up here and grabbing a hold of it. They're probably, uh, they're probably, there's a, there's a ton of them in there. Now I catch one that weighs almost two pounds and I catch that one. That's something. If I don't come back, now what am I gonna tell Chris? Oh yeah, Chris, baby, I caught 47. I only put two in the basket. <laughs> They've been too big or too small. Too large or too small. Oh, I see a deer coming. Imagine that. Probably my Lucy. Wow, there are just every cast out there. I'm talking every cast. But they're not the right size. I don't know, what do you think about that one? They're just like on the borderline, they're just like nine, ten inches long. Well, I'm gonna have to throw that in the box. In the box. Have to put that in there. That one's actually a little bit smaller than that other one. God, you can, I just I want those in, in between sizes, that's what I want. They're right on top of a big old piece of brush out there. Be, gotta be careful you get hung up on that. But they're coming out of it, coming up and getting it on top. I'm not having to fish it very deep at all. There's no telling. I mean, there's no telling how many crappie are right there. I'm catching them. I swear I'm catching them every throw. Every single throw. I think that's a perfect size right there. You'll probably get off. Oh, that's a perfect size right there. He just barely hung. He had a perfect chance to get away and didn't. Now that, that's perfect. It's about 11 or 12 inches, just about right, right there. That's three in the basket. <laughs> Woo -hoo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I got hung up, I'm not even in the water. Boy, there are some crappie stacked in there. <laughs> Golly! Oh my good goodness! I knew this was going to happen. This cooler weather, cooler's rear end. It's cold. Some of the coldest weather we've had. We've had some pretty cold weather actually in Oklahoma already, though. But this this front here is a killer. 
Oh, I'm telling you. Oop, got away. Close enough to count. Marvelous hook curl. Lucy is stopping eating the spider webs off of the off of the dock. I don't know if those are good for or bad for. I can't stop her from eating them, so it doesn't matter. I'm hoping they're good for her, though. Ought to be. Ought to be protein, shouldn't it? Somebody told me spider webs had something in them that was good to eat. I don't know how you'd ever know that. <laughs> yeah, spider webs are good to eat. Who would ever figure that out? I mean, I'm catching crappie every throw. Every throw. That's a perfect one there. I'm getting some that's up at the right size now. Hi, Lucy. Hi, baby doll. Oh, still. Every time I try to get my thumb in his mouth, he wiggles. He said, well, you'd wiggle too if you down there people talking about having a crappie fry. And you just happen to be named a crappie. What you doing, Lucy? Hi, Lucy. Hey, baby. What you doing, girl? Where's your babies, huh? Look at her. She's licking those spider webs. Licking spider webs. Look at her. See, that's what she's doing, eating those spider webs. And, of course, they're wet now. They got water on them. I don't know. That makes them better or worse or what? I'm telling you, this is amazing crappie fishing. I mean, it is amazing. There's no telling how many crappie are out there. I'm almost getting one every throw. Every now and then I throw one, I don't catch one. But almost. That last one I caught clear up here by the dock. Oop, I missed one right there. That act like a bluegill bite there. Felt like a bluegill instead of a crappie. There he is right there. I could probably just drop right down from the dock. I'm throwing it out there. I could probably just drop right down. Boy, they're eating it too. Look how fat. He's got that thing clear down his throat. Look at that. Oh, he's got it. Way. Look at there, how far he's down there. Look how far my finger is to get that out. Almost an entire finger length. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Halfway home. Hey, Lucy. Hey, baby. What are you doing, girl? You eating the spider webs? You got spiders all over your head. Spider webs on your mouth. Yeah, you just give Jimmy some sugar. Huh? I'm so glad you got well. I was worried about you dying. Pneumonia will kill him. You got to be careful. Look at there. I was just letting it drop out there and one hit it. I mean, I was just letting it drop. It's about 15 foot deep out there. 17, maybe. Whoop. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Barbara's hook. <laughs> we'll throw it out there and just let it drop. Let it drop. Let it drop. Let it drop. Now I'm going to wind. That one I let go pretty deep. Because I was fooling around with Lucy Girl. What was that? Big old bass or something come up there. And eat, ate something up there. Catch one that throw. I'm telling you though, that's a killer. Where'd she go? Oh, she's on the other side of the feeder. You know, we're finding some spiders over there. I wish she'd come down and clean my, all the spider webs off my dock every day. She only does it when I'm down here. <laughs> I'm gonna thin that hole out. I have to find another little water of them. Made a few casts out there now without a bite. Got it right down on the bottom. I'm getting some bumps. Might be bluegill. Let me try it right back out that direction again. Bambino, that's too small there anyway. That one's too small for me. Look at her, look at her going down through there. She's like a vacuum cleaner. Look at that. Look at that. You better not bite my blue lights in two, girl. She's just going down through there eating those spider webs. And there's not much to a spider web. Evidently she loves them though.
I'm gonna drop that rod and reel in the lake sure as well. Then I'll be upset. We need a couple more of those big ones and we're getting close to having enough. My hands are getting cold also. I wonder if I can get Chris to fillet these. I go up there and told her, honey, my hands are cold, baby. My hands are cold, sugar bear. Will you go fillet those crappie for me? I'd try to fillet them, but my hands are so cold. I've been in there catching you a mess of crappie. Will you do that, baby? And she'll say, no. <laughs> Just a little small size. <laughs> Went to turn him loose, hooked him again. Which you call a good bait there. There he is. <laughs> Drop that down a little deeper. I wonder what we got size-wise here. Eh, boy, they're just like almost too small. But <laughs> you think, baby? No, you don't want to bite them, Beamer. Yeah, you can lick a little bit. Beamer says, "Fry it up, boss. Fry it up. Fry it up, boss. Fry it up." Let <laughs> me. <laughs> Had to hit in the basket and had to hit in the basket and bounce right out. <laughs> that ain't something. That's Lucy. That's Lucy and some per Lucy and Ranger. Oh, look at them go. Look at them go. Now they like this cold weather. They like it. They like it. Crappie like it. Jimmy likes it. Look at them. How Lucy's gonna run with them. Lucy run him off. I'm not sure, was that one of ours or that was a wild deer? He was wanting to play. Might be a little buck come in there and courting my Lucy girl. Look at him go, look at him go. Oh, no, no, that's forced. I see the little green on him there, that's forced. Yeah, Lucy's running with forced. The problem is I got my rope there, I lay it and I know if I pick that up with my rope on it without him dropping out. That's what you're supposed to do right there. That's Jenny. Now Lucy's gonna run with them. There they go, there they go, there they go. Oh my gosh. Oh, a horse wouldn't have a chance against those guys. And that could have been what happened to Indy. They run so fast, they sometimes run into a tree. They're going so fast and they just the trees there and sometimes they run right into it. And that could have been what happened to Indy, Indy particularly is at night. And they're sort of bucking. They're all sort of bucking. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> that is as good as it gets right there. I don't know how many I got in there, but I gotta be getting close to a crappie fry. How many is in there? Five, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe a couple more will do. Probably. I've caught twice that many at least. At least twice that many. <laughs> ah, we're going to have some crappie. Fried taters and onions. Salad. Fried crappie. Little cocktail sauce, crappie cocktail sauce. Ooh, missed that one. They're they're eating it. They're eating it so good that you just you know you just don't miss many. Now this might be the minnow of the day here. That's the smallest one we've caught. You get to go back and grow some more or become food for a five pound bass. Kind of the biggest, biggest one, that big giant one, and that's something I only caught one of those big giant ones. <clears throat> this time of the year, you need to get out and go. I mean, when that water starts getting down, until it gets down, and when it gets down to 58, that's magic. 58 degrees is a magic time for bass. Really good for crappie also, but for bass, that's a magic time. You can go and throw crankbaits about on any rocky banks and catch a lot of fish. You can get around a. A lot of places and catch crappie. We can find them so easily now on our locators that we can just go around and look until we see a bunch of them and then catch them. I think that's about 
all I need. Let me look and see what I got in the basket here. I'll come close to dropping my pole in the water. That's my favorite pole. That's a Jimmy Houston Enticer, which is not one of the new Blaze series rod and reels. Look at there, sports fans. That's what I call enough crappie fillets for dinner right there. Right there. I don't know if we can get a hold of any of these. This is a little Jimmy Houston Enticer rod and reel combo. Very inexpensive rod and reel. It's a six foot medium. Uh, somebody, I can't remember who it was, but somebody was, a couple of people were asking me about, about the, a crappie rod. This would be a good one right here. I'll see if we can't get some of these and put on our, uh, put on our website. That's a Jimmy Houston Life is Good Today. That's an Enticer by High Tech HT. High Tech Extreme Performance Rods. That's a nice little reel. I've had this one for a long time. Got it loaded up with 20 pound high seas braided line. And uh, I don't have it direct or, yeah, I got it tied direct to my jig. That's a little 1 16th ounce with a little small blade on it. Perfect for the winter time like this. Marabou, white marabou, and I promise you, a quick, nice, easy bunch of crappie fillets. If every mission that Chris set me on was as easy as this mission, I'd have her sleeping in silk underwear. <laughs> That's not true. You thought I was gonna say no underwear, did you? <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> Guys and girls, go out there and have you some fun catching crappie. Oh my goodness, there's another one. <laughs> Woo! I love it and I love y'all. That's a throwback there. All of a throwback from here on in till dark because I have all I need. Woo! Ha ha!